We do want to thank our sponsors. Now, one of them is Committee Coffee. So if you want some coffee, guys, check them out. Committee Coffee, you can order whatever kind of coffee you want, be it full bean or go ahead and grind it. They can do that too. So one of the things I love about them, not only is the coffee great, but this mug is fantastic. So if you guys need some decent mugs in the house, there you go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA here. Today on the tabletop is one of my favorite type of Berettas, whether it's this particular one or one of the many that I own myself. I love these Wilson Combat Beretta pistols. No question. If you own one already, you know why. If you don't own one and you've always wondered whether they're worth the price or not, I will tell you they definitely are. They are my favorites and I own a total of, what is it, like six, seven Beretta 92, Beretta 96 type pistols. Half of them are Wilson Combats. So anyway, this particular one is a fully loaded 92G Centurion Tactical. This has the regular frame shape of a traditional Beretta 92 or Beretta 96. You can see how wide it is down here at the bottom and how it is not straight. It's more of a traditional look. Very nice checkering in the back of the pistol and the front really well done. The guys at Wilson Combat do excellent work. Whether you want to send in one of your previously owned Beretta 92 or 96s and have them work on it or buy one of theirs like this, I highly encourage you to do so. On the table right now is the multiple magazines that it comes with. These ones right here, I didn't unload them. They're 17 rounders. This one, again, 17 rounder. And this one is a 20 round stick mag. Pretty cool, right? All right, get those out of the way, set them off to the side. It really is a great pistol, guys. Is it worth the 1400? You know, for a guy that buys custom 1911s and stuff like that, I consider the 1400 a steal. Here we are, nice and empty, okay? Beretta 92G Centurion Tactical Caliber 9mm. Does have a two slot rail right there. It is a G model which means it can be decocked. Currently, the hammer is back, the trigger is back, it is in single action. You're gonna reach up from here, hit your safety mechanism, pull it down, and release it. It does not stick on safety, it decocks the pistol into double action, returning the trigger fully forward and returning the hammer to home. That's the way it's supposed to be, that's the way it's meant to be. As you grab the pistol from here, the pistol is hot. So you could pull the trigger, and if there's a round in there, you'd be shooting the pistol. Once you pull the trigger, the first round goes off, you send it down range, the pistol cycles, comes back like this, and now you're into reset, which this particular pistol has the action tune trigger job on it, and it is fantastic, guys. That was the reset, you're back on it now, it had a little movement coming back, it firms up, and really very little movement and then it breaks. Let's do it one more time with my strong hand. Coming for the reset. It's more than your 1911 for sure, but as far as this type of pistol, it's really excellent. Back on it a little bit. There is a little bit of movement going back to where it firms up. And then, oh, it just broke. Yeah, there was no creep or anything on it. So reset right there, coming back. See that movement? So there is movement coming back to where it hits the wall. And then it just breaks. And I'm telling you, it breaks. It feels like three and a half pounds. I haven't put it on a scale yet, so let's go ahead and do that. The double action on these has also been worked. So let me just show you this. Some of them were 11, 10, 11, 12 pounds from the factory, not a Wilson, but like a regular Beretta. It can be quite heavy, so let's see what this is. In double action, hook it right there. Six pounds, 11 and a half ounces, one more. Six pounds, four ounces. Let's do it one more time, just to make sure. I'm getting good ones. Six pounds, four ounces. So guys, somewhere right around six and a half pounds on a full double action trigger pull. That is phenomenal. And take a look. Very consistent. You can stop it, stop it, stop it. Pull the trigger. Great. Okay, single action. 
prepare for what felt like three and a half pounds to me, guys. Four pounds, one ounce. Three pounds, 6.2 ounces. And one more. Three pounds, 12.1 ounces. So right about three and a half was a pretty good guess. Definitely under four, even on your worst pull in single action, which puts it where? 1911 territory out of a Beretta pistol. 1911 territory, a good 1911. Let's talk about the rest of the pistol real quick. Absolutely awesome Wilson Combat Grips right here. Texturing is perfect and the color is fantastic. There's a couple different colors I think to choose from. So this is like, I'm gonna call it the black and gray because that's kind of what it looks like to me. Take a little look at the pistol as far as the rest of it. The sights, high vis, night sight in the front, tritium absolutely draws your eye to it. It is a Ameriglow is what's on it. And then the back is just like a Wilson Combat battle sight. Very nice to bring up and bring into action. The hammer, very nice bulletproof type hammer from Wilson Combat. So made of the absolute best material right here and so much better than the cheesy regular hammers that come on most Beretta pistols. Putting it together back here in the back is perfect. The muzzle is done. Very nice crown on that muzzle. Check that out. Pistol is just nicely finished all over. It doesn't really have any missteps or quality control issues, which Young Brett and I ran into a lot on the regular Berettas. We have not run into it on any of the Wilson Combat Berettas. So again, you're getting your $1,400 worth, or for those of you that can find it for less, it's absolutely a steal. Mag guide right here and a slight beveling to the magwell. Can you see that? There you go. Great attention to detail. Very nicely finished. I can't think of anything else I really want to talk about other than to say, are they expensive? Slightly. Are they worth it? Absolutely. Highly, highly recommended. All have been flawless and they're just so much fun at the range. A great personal carry gun, a good pistol for male or female because these especially, some females have troubles with heavy triggers on revolvers and stuff. You see this already. And that's the first round. After that, you're at three and a half pounds for all the rest of the rounds as it keeps on cycling. It's a winner, guys, no doubt. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel for Mark Guns and Gear reviews coming up in the future. Also, guys, come over to the Tool channel if you like, the Legion of Tools, where I have been putting up tool videos. The CZ 9mm USA channel has been growing like crazy, and it's all because of you guys. So thanks very much for joining the CZ 9mm USA channel as a backup channel. So I'm very pleased with that as I continue to try to get that to grow to 10,000 subscribers. Thanks again. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your second amendment is worth protecting.